Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another Vlogmas. I know I'm a little bit behind on Vlogmas, but I am working really hard on catching up. You might notice things look a little bit different from what they normally do. That is because we finally moved into our new apartment and I have all that footage for you in this video right here. But Zach actually started the vlog, so I just wanted to come in and give a little intro and say hey. So. Here is all of our moving footage. All right, good morning guys, hired. Macy's at work. It's moving day today and tomorrow. Ugh. Macy wanted me to vlog, so we'll see how this goes. No promises that it's gonna be any kind of good content. I woke up about an hour and a half ago. It's nine o'clock. Macy left about maybe 45 minutes ago for work, but I'm still in bed on the couch. We slept on the couch last night. Um, Today, I have a couple things I need to get done while Macy's at work, and I know there was three big ones for sure, but I already forgot one of them, and she's only been gone for 45 minutes. I know I need to wash the sheets on the bed so we can use them at the new apartment, and I need to game plan how we're gonna do the couch because it's a sectional, but it obviously won't fit in the elevator, so I'm gonna have to take it apart so that might be the biggest thing for today the couch is going to be the hardest thing we have to move so if we can knock that out tonight tomorrow morning like first thing then everything else should be smooth sailing although it never is when you say that so maybe i shouldn't say that but i don't know there was another thing that i needed to do today but i already forgot what it was maybe i'll remember i don't know first things first we got to get ready okay the lighting is not so good over here but i have the sheets in the bedding right here i'm gonna see if i can get them to fit in our washer and dryer uh, the washer is not very big, so we can't do very big loads. So I'm going to try to do the sheets first, and then after that, I'll see if I can get the comforter to fit. But for now, we'll just start with the sheets. Okay, so I got the shower curtain down and the liner is in the washer. I'm gonna fold up the curtain, put the hooks in um, like a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna get a couple Ziploc bags or maybe some um, plastic bags like from the store and put all of the shower stuff in there. Uh, and then I'll work on cleaning out the shower and getting all the shower stuff ready to go for tonight. We can set up the, the new shower if we need to and we'll have all our soaps and stuff ready to go. Okay, so the shower's done, you know, the curtain's down, all of the products are taken out. Um, I'm gonna spray it down and kind of clean it out so we don't have to worry about it tomorrow, um, just so that we can say that we're done with like this section of the house or whatever. We'll still have to clean the bathroom, but um, having this done will just be much more of a help. I grabbed a little baggie to throw all these hooks in, so they'll just go in here and they'll stay with the shower curtain. Okay, so we got the bath, like the shower bathtub area done. Um, the shower liner is in the wash. The shower curtain is folded up. The hooks are in a bag. The bathtub is, you know, rinsed out, washed out, cleaned out. That's good to go. Um, next, we're going to work on the bedroom, the air mattress. It's mostly deflated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clean sheets and the clean comforter uh, put them on the air mattress and then and then fold up the air mattress that way So it's all together when we get to the new apartment. We just unroll it start inflating the air mattress We can make the bed. It's ready to go All we'll have to do is you know throw the pillows on it So that should make it a nice easy transition for that part once I'm done once I'm done with that I'm gonna throw another load of clothes in the laundry and then uh, I Might start checking out the couch. It's gonna be a pain Okay, so I got the air mattress rolled up, the heated blanket, and the cords are all rolled up. For the air mattress, it's all in one right here. The cord and everything is all in here. Um, believe, it or not, believe it or not, I got the fitted sheet, the sheet, and the comforter rolled up in there. So when we get to the new apartment, we'll just roll it out, blow it up, and it'll be ready to go. Just throw the pillows on it. Okay, so I'm about to start working on the couch, but obviously I need to get all the clean clothes that just got pulled out of the dryer off the couch so that I can um, take it apart. In the kitchen, I just took the carpet off the ground from over here 
and rolled it up and put it over there. There's also a little like grippy pad piece that was under it. I rolled it up inside of it so that once again, once we get to the new couch, we can just unroll it. The grippy thing will be underneath and it'll be good to go. I'm gonna do the same thing with this carpet too. And then I'll get started on the couch and the laundry. This whole lighting is so bright right now, but we're in our new apartment. So let me give you guys a tour. All right, so here's the door where you walk in at. We have a little space. We're gonna get a little entryway table here. And then we have a long hallway. Over here, we have our bonus room with a very deep closet, which will be nice. And then this has the barn doors like our other bedroom has. And then the other bedroom is here. It does have a regular door and it also has a door to the balcony. And then this has two double closets, which is so nice. There's gonna be so much more room for all of my clothes. And then we have our little balcony. I'm not gonna go out there right now cause we were just out there and it's very cold. And then, and then this over here is our laundry closet. So we just have our washer and dryer. On this side of the hallway, we have just a little storage closet where we can put like our jackets and stuff. And then we come to the kitchen. It is so bright. There's so much light. I love it. So we have a nice big island. We have slightly less cabinet space than our other one, but that's okay because I think we're gonna get some kind of cabinet or something to go in this corner. And then our couch is going to go here, I think. I love all the natural light. And then our TV is going to go over here. We still don't even have a TV stand, so it's just gonna sit on the floor for now. And then uh, this way, we might get a little storage something for over here. That might be a good like plant rack. I keep a bunch of plants on. Um, so there's a window to the balcony. And then in here is the bathroom, which is so freaking big. So um, we don't have the built-in shelves like we do in our current one. So I think we're going to get either like a tall shelf to go here or maybe a short, long one. So there's a tour of our new apartment. Now let's go get our stuff and move in. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This morning we woke up in our new apartment. So exciting. We stayed here last night and we just got like the big things out of our old apartment last night, but we still have to go back and get like our dishes, the rest of our clothes, the rest of our bathroom stuff, and then just clean the place up so we can turn in our keys. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's finish moving. All right, load number one of the day, ready to go. All right, I stopped vlogging our moving because we had the elevator reserved and someone kept taking it from us. So we were spending so much time chasing down the elevator to get it back. And I was just getting frustrated. And we just wanted to get out of here because it was wasting our time. We only had it until 12 and I think it's like about 11.45 now. This is our last load from the apartment. Last time in here. It's all empty. Not gonna lie, I did kind of like this apartment. I did too, but it looks a lot more smaller now that there's nothing in it. <laughs> like we did pretty good for the size we had. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Goodbye, apartment. Bye. Closing the door for the last time. All right, we got our last load in. Here's what the apartment's looking like. We're gonna put shower together and shower. If we can find the curtains. Yeah, we don't know where the curtain hooks went. We need to find those somewhere. And then I think we might run to Trader Joe's, go get some fresh flowers for our vase. And my tummy just growled so loud. That was your tummy. <laughs> you heard that? I did. Yeah. What was your thoughts on Trader Joe's? Where are you going? To get something. <laughs> this was my thought. 
pomegranate cider. It made you want to drink? Yes. That's your thought? It was pretty crazy in there. All right, so we went to Walmart and we got a tree. So stay tuned for that video, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see what footage I have. And then we also got this tree topper, which matches the tree really well, and some ornaments. And then we also got two boxes of lights because we wanted them up around the living room anyways. Then at Trader Joe's, we got these beautiful flowers. We got this real wreath, but we need a wreath uh, hanger so we can hang it on the door. And then, so we got these pomegranate hard cider drinks like Zach showed. We also got a bottle of champagne. Zach wanted these little hanging gingerbread men cookies to try. I don't think I really like gingerbread, so I don't think I'll like them, but they're so cute. They just hang on the edge of your mug. We also got these peppermint meringues. They are so good. Um, what were your thoughts on the meringues? It felt like nails on a chalkboard, but on your teeth. It was, it, it freaks me out just thinking about it. It was <laughs> pretty so dramatic. We got some baby spinach to make smoothies. I forgot we got this grapefruit sparkling wine fiddle faux bananas. Coffee creamer. Got these ricotta and lemon zest raviolis. 21 seasoning salute, which I've heard everyone talking about. And then the citrusy garlic seasoning blend, I think will be really good on some chicken chicken fried rice, and this mandarin orange chicken I've also heard very good things about. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new, cause I missed you so much. We've not put the ornaments on our tree yet because we still need ornament hooks. But here is our cute little tree setup. I love it. It's going to look so good with some presents under it to make it look a little more full. We wanted it up in the window, so we put it up on this ottoman that we have. And I couldn't find a tree skirt that I liked that wasn't ridiculously expensive. So I had actually made this blanket last year. So we just draped it over the top of it. And I think it'll look less boxy once there are presents to kind of hide it. And then we did actually order a TV console finally. So our stockings will go on there once we get that with some garland and some lights. It's gonna look so cute. Tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me 